You guys fake the relationship behind closed doors. You don't like it when people judge you for being interracial. Y'all do the nasty more often now that you're married. That is true, and that is true. What's, What's up, Sash Squad? What is up, Sash Squad? We are back with another video, and today, what are we doing today, baby girl? Guys, today we're answering all of your assumptions about us, and let me just say, and about our marriage, yeah. I feel like you guys have some very not like mean assumptions. These were juicy this time. They're very interesting. I'm gonna try not to clap back. Oh yeah, please don't. He likes to give the haters the attention that they no, want. No, 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 no. I give them, I show them kindness because since they want to bring hate yeah, and to be evil, I love you, God loves you. <laughs> don't say this again. <laughs> Guys, comment if you have seen Josh pin negative comments before. Okay, they don't know that it's me, so but now you just exposed me. It's uh, me. Yeah, it's it is Josh. Okay, yeah, I I exposed them because. Since but they, look, all these then all of our subscribers see that person. And guess what? They back us up. We're getting way really off the subject. We went to our community tab a few days ago and asked you guys to send us assumptions mm -hmm. about our marriage. We're gonna answer those today. My assumption for both of y'all when y'all are out. <laughs> just y'all. <laughs> I put so much emphasis on y'all. I don't know how. <laughs> My assumption for both of y'all when y'all are out <laughs> Guys, yeah, Josh thinks it's weird when I say y'all. It is. You sound like you're from the country. I am. You're not. I'm going to say you guys instead of y'all. Oh, my God. When you guys are out and about together, a lot of people stare due to you guys being an interracial couple. I don't know if that's true or not. I honestly, I think they be staring because my wife is bad. I think they stare because of you. Ain't nobody staring because of me. Because you look good. No, or because I'm black. They be staring at me like, ooh, when is that black guy doing with that white woman? It shouldn't be like that, Sally. Oh, Barbara, I'll tell you what it should be like. It should be the same race. The same race need to be together. And if they're not together, ta -ha! that this is like maybe not true but I guess we can't really speak to this so much because I don't super pay attention. I have been like stopped in New York by like a lady. We shared that story a yeah. while ago. We because did we're not paying attention. because we have a cute outfit on. Okay you should <laughs> how not humble can you be? <laughs> Where's the humility? No in wait that but, okay but wait I'm just don't worry I'm not gonna put that in there. It's in there. Oh, okay he's gonna put it in there. Well no guys what I mean by that is like we wouldn't ever know if someone was staring we wouldn't know if they were staring because they thought my shoes were cute you know or they were staring because staring. You could have a booger in your nose. Why is it always no, no, that, yeah, no, they might have a booger or they could be like whoa she has a big zit on her forehead. Josh does not like it when Sav keeps on dyeing her hair. <laughs> That really is not true. I love when she dyes her hair. Yes, I have more favorites than the others. What's your favorite? I, you know my favorite. We can share them. Okay, my favorite is Savannah's black. I know, but what about blonde? Bl no, but blonde that. is my second. But I told you the middle one is the not my is not my favorite. Wait, that was never a choice. That was just the transition to get to blonde. No, okay. Guys, Josh doesn't like my hair light. Do you guys like my hair? Do you guys like my hair blonde or black better? That is not true. Also, also, this is my natural color for anyone that doesn't know that. So this is actually my natural what God gave me. First off, I love any you don't hair like. That you don't like it. Stop telling me what I don't like. I love every single hairstyle that you've had. I feel like you guys hide a lot from us. Like, we only see what you want us to see. Love you guys. All the way from South Africa. We don't, okay, we don't hide stuff. Yeah. From but, you guys. but no, that is true. Like, obviously, you guys know a lot about us, but you're not going to know every little detail and every personal thing at all. Why our. would you? No one can do that. The only person that knows more than anything is her. Literally, we were talking about that the other day, you guys. Rue knows our life. She's in our marriage. That's very true. <laughs> I would also say, though, that that isn't true because, like, we don't intentionally like it's not like we would keep things from you like say like a huge drastic thing happened in our life this is like random but we got a new car or whatever we wouldn't hide that from you yeah. so i don't know i think it's true and not true y'all do the nasty more often now that you're married okay my bro or my girl whoever you that is true okay hold on i saw someone comment and say you guys stop commenting and making assumptions about you know what because it's not it's personal so, it is so personal so let's but this one y'all do the nasty more often that is true and that is true. That is true. She doesn't want me talking about this, but it's true. Okay, guys. They, they know. Uh, they know. Uh. Clearly just an assumption. Y'all don't want to come off as negative or show relationship troubles, so you may not always be 100% authentic. We don't show, so obviously we don't show every single trouble or problem we have in our relationship, because why, why? would we? Why, why like, would you guys come to, that come to our channel to see that? And yeah. the thing is, we have though. Yeah, we really we have. Shared we shared a so lot much. more than we would ever 
we would never share this stuff with anybody. Yeah, it could open up just like for someone to hear our story and our troubles Great, and then maybe they could get healed or get free from exactly. hearing someone that's been through it. That's why we do it. Yes, but we don't share every single trouble we have obviously because you guys would be like, okay, this channel sucks. Like they are always having issues. We're not always having issues, but it would just be boring if we shared our every little fight and thing we had. But we do know on YouTube couples People love drama, and yeah. people love a breakup, people love yeah. a scandal, we get it. But we don't have anything to share that is negative because that's just like not what we strive for. Your biggest plan is to use your talents to minister to others as much as you can. That's that a true. great assumption. That is a great assumption and that is 100% true. Yeah. And what's crazy, that is something that we're tapping into more now. Mm -hmm. um, we're listening to you guys, you guys want more about Savannah dancing. You guys want more about me playing the keys and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So we know that we could use those talents to, you know, help somebody or inspire someone or encourage someone. Uh, that's what we're starting to get into mm -hmm. more now, which is exciting yeah. and it's cool to figure out how we can get creative with that. Yeah. Okay, Sav doesn't like long hair. Wow, no. is no. that true? No. Okay. Babe, you know this. Well, your hair's been short for a really long time. Um, uh, my hair has been like short-ish for a really long time. It was like kind of medium. They've never seen your hair long. No. Because my hair really honestly, like it was long in like probably sixth grade. My hair is like kind of thin. So I think short hair just kind of suits me better. But I love long hair on other people. Y'all have been fighting more since getting Rue. It's funny guys because when we got Rue, I was like, I feel like we're not going to be able to fight anymore because I feel like if we have such a cute little puppy in the room with us, we can't fight. But that's not true because we, we fought. Nothing changed with our marriage since getting Rue. Josh leaves <laughs> Josh leaves his dirty socks everywhere and Sav has to be after him. And that's true on both because you leave your socks. You guys know you I don't. I can find your socks somewhere no, right now. You guys, Josh leaves his laundry. He leaves things. Who is most likely to leave their laundry on the floor? Me or you? I don't know. Say it. Rue. Say it. <laughs> guys, Josh has a pair of pants and a shirt on the floor right there right now. I don't get after Josh though, really. I'll just be like, babe, why are your socks on the floor? Or honestly, I'll, if he has laundry on the floor, I'll just pick it up or put it away. Sav has built a stronger self-confidence since you guys got married. I can say yes. Oh, really? I don't even, even say since you got married. I would say over time. I think I saw a comment because we recently posted a video and it was just saving it by yourself. And oh, someone yeah. said like, it's crazy to see like, you know, you're doing videos by yourself now and just see how you started. So I think that you guys have noticed her confidence has changed and I have definitely seen it. Really? Because you're just, it's so sexy. Well I'm so sorry. This is like goes with confidence. I've gotten less worried about what people think. I used to be such the type of person, you guys, that wouldn't leave the house without makeup. Like if I was going to dance, I would still do my makeup. Like I was so had to wear makeup and now I don't even care. I hate makeup. To answer that assumption though, yes. Since you think marriage, so? yeah. I, okay, I guys, Josh answered for me. Yeah. So. I think me too, though, honestly, because I feel like more confident. Like, I have a wife. Yeah. It's crazy to say that I have a wife. It's crazy to say that you're married. Yeah. Like, my confidence goes to a new level. Like, what? You can't tell me nothing, bro. Try me. I gotta get home to my wife. That's cool. Trying to make babies? I'm so sorry. You don't like it when people judge you for being interracial and it gets under your skin. No, it doesn't get under my skin. It definitely doesn't bother me at all. It comes from just, we don't care what people think, obviously, at all, whether it be about us being interracial or not, just anything in life. I think, I don't know, we're not living to please anyone except for God and each other. Yeah, like when people judge us about that, mm -hmm. I always have to remember that everyone is going through something mm -hmm. and hurt people hurt people. Yeah. So if someone's hurt and they're judging us and, you know, being rude and racist and all these other things, I know for a fact they are probably going through something personal mm -hmm. and they're hurt. So honestly, the only thing you can do is just pray for them. So. Yeah. One person came up with Rue's name without the other person. So Josh kind of like, you suggested the name first, mm -hmm. but it's not like he hey, was Hey, Rue, like, Rue, no. It, it's not just like, okay, her name is Rue, that's it. You know what I mean? He was like, what about Rue? And I was like, yes. And actually we have a note in our phone. I think we've told you guys this, but it's for all of our kids' names. And I think we had Rue actually in there as like a middle name option. Yeah. And we named our dog Rue. And same with Noah, her middle name. That was also that's in our in list. That's in our list. Okay, the next one is that you love cooking Sav, but Josh always wants Chipotle if you would let him, LOL. <laughs> That's actually so funny. First of all, I never used to really love cooking, like, but I feel like I've found a new love for it. I love trying new recipes and I love, I do love cooking. I find joy in it. But if I say, babe, do you want Chipotle? He will never turn it down. That's not true. Babe, you know sometimes I say I'm not in the mood for Chipotle and you're shocked. Babe, you've said it like once. Don't do me on camera right now. <laughs> you guys, okay, but so you would take my cooking over Chipotle sometimes? Yeah, you okay, know so I would because I like your cooking. Then the assumption's not true then. 
Yeah, it's not true. It's somewhat true. It's like 90% true. You guys fake the relationship behind closed doors. By the way, love y'all. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's like, is that a backhand? Wait, hold come? on. No, no, no. What does that even mean? We yeah. love you too. I can see where they get that from because there are people on YouTube there who do are. that. But we're not... Actually, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I can't. Can. Yeah. Let's go to the next one, huh? Wait, really? It Maybe is? DM us and... Speak more in depth on your assumption. Dad, were you worried about Josh's family not accepting you and vice versa? I wasn't worried about them not accepting me. I just really wanted them to like me. They're no. probably thinking that because of like your your race, your you skin think? color. Yeah, I think, but I just obviously just like any other, you know, when you meet your significant other's parents, you want them to like you or it's not yeah. really going to work. So I think I definitely had that like want, but mm -hmm. I wasn't worried, I would say. Yeah. What about you? Um, no, only because I wasn't the first black guy in the, in, around. I know I was your first official boyfriend, okay. but Savannah has dated other black guys. So I just felt like, oh, if they accepted them, they most likely gonna accept me. That's a terrible like thing. <laughs> no, it's not, I, okay, but no. But you honestly, I say this with so much humility. I don't have a problem with parents. Like, come on. <laughs> it's like, come on. I'm fishing for the compliment. <laughs> because of that, I wasn't tripping, and if they didn't like me, then I would have had to figure out a way to make them like me because I want to marry your daughter. But they do like me, and uh, God is good. It's like, <laughs> what? YouTube made you fake. I used to love you guys, but now I don't like you guys because you aren't being original anymore, and you're just putting out content. I get that, but remember quality over quantity. Okay, first of all, I feel like, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, uh -oh. but we used to be way less original back in the day when we were doing pranks and doing everything else that everyone else was doing. Now guys, we're actually just doing what we love to do and we're literally just like vlogging and doing sit down videos and different things, but like we're just doing what we love. We're not, how could we be not original by just living our life? You don't want to hear what I got to say, so you might want to go to the next one. No, go ahead. No, 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 go to the next one. Sav is the first person to wake up. That assumption is not true. <laughs> Sometimes it is. I woke up first today. You got out of the bed first today. Round one. Fight. Babe, I, I, you I, know, you, babe, babe, you, listen, you guys, when I woke up today, I went to the bathroom, I brushed my teeth, I did all the things. I, I came, was still in the bed on babe, my phone. You, babe, no, you were sleeping. I wasn't sleeping. Babe, you were. Babe, I wake up first baby, because baby, I hear this baby, little girl right here you crying. You were sleeping like a baby angel. Like, I, I was, remember, I was so happy that you were still asleep because I came over and kissed you. You were so cute. You were like. You came over and kissed me this morning? Babe, yeah, you were asleep. Okay. But regardless, I'm the first one to wake up because I go take this little girl out to pee and I let Savannah get her beauty sleep. Except for yeah. not because you release Rue into the room when she wakes <laughs> oh, me yeah. up. Oh yeah, as soon as I go get Rue, I'm like, because Rue wants to see her mom. So I first thing I do is wake Rue up and then bring her in here. And to... then she attacks me. God is definitely a part of your marriage. Smiley face. 126,000 trillion that's, percent. That's a great assumption. I kind of skimmed and saw some just about like God being the center of our relationship and the foundation of our marriage and you guys are all correct with that assumption. Yeah. Okay, this next one is really good. It's more of a question than an assumption, but it says, does filming ever cause tension or arguments between the two of you even though you both enjoy doing it? That's a really good question. That's a great question and I would say yes. 100%. And it's honestly though, it's like any other thing in a marriage or a relationship. There's certain things that cause tension, yeah. even though you love doing them. But sometimes we do get into like little arguments or whatever, like disagreements when we are filming. Yeah. And the thing is, we're, a lot of people don't realize this is our job being on YouTube. So we're business partners. We work together. Yeah. There are moments where one of us don't feel like shooting. Yeah, for sure. And there are some lazy days mm -hmm. and we like, those, those are the moments where we're thinking like, yo, is how important is YouTube and how important is our marriage? Because we don't want it to get to a point where it's like, we need to shoot, we have to shoot. Mm -hmm. Even if, you know, our marriage is doing bad or even if we're not in the mood today, we have to shoot because yeah. we have to put out content. If we don't feel like shooting today, we're not, we're not shooting today. Mm -hmm. If the other person isn't up for shooting, then you need to, you know, Respect that. Respect that idea. Yeah. Respect that uh, decision. All right, you guys, that is the end of the video. We hope that we answered the majority of those assumptions. There were a lot of, like, of the same ones, yeah. but we just, you know. Tried to just do one of each. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and turn those post notifications on and give and this like video it. a like. What should they comment? Because if you guys made it this far, then you're a real OG member, you know? Yeah. So if you guys made it this far, then if you guys made it this far, you're a real OG. So comment comment below your favorite quarantine snack. What's yours? Oh, I love snacks. The popcorn. Yeah, popcorn. It's popcorn. That's my favorite 
snacks always. What if I mean, it's donuts. Okay, I thought you were gonna say grapes. I was like, why do you have to be healthy? <laughs> All right, Sauce so Squad, we love you guys. Happy Saturday. We will see you in the next video. Love you, Sauce so Squad. We love you guys and we trust you and value your opinion, but people that are commenting hate, we're like, you don't matter. You had such a good point and it was like so nice and godly and then I said, your opinion is irrelevant. What black, if I I'm never like, go back to black? I'm sorry, I laughed because... What? What's go black? You never go back. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely at the end of this video. <laughs> no, Maybe is. DM us and speak more in depth on your assumptions. I was gonna. Before I get pissed! Alright. I'm joking. I would never do Whoa. that. Whoa.